Okay, so we looked at this router's routing table, right? We're using a virtual tool here, Packet Tracer, right? But we looked at this router's routing table. But computers have routing tables too. So right here, I'm on my desktop, I'm using Windows 7. I'm going to open up a command prompt. It's off screen, but you'll see it in a second. Here's my command prompt, right? I'm going to open, close this out, and I'm going to type in route print. And that's going to, that's like show IP route in the router. This is like my routing table for my computer. So if I do that, I get my routing table, right? Look at that, IP version 6 route table, right? And then here's my IP version 4 routing table. And we'll just take a, a quick look at this right off the top. And you can see that right away, I've got a default gateway. My gateway this is my Linksys wireless router is at 1.1. My IP address is 1.130 on my interface. This is my gateway. And this is for every unknown route. You know, this is 000000. 000, 000, 000, 000, 000. This is a gateway of last resort or a default route or a default gateway. So if I don't have a route to a network, if it's if this is where I go, right here. Okay? And let's look at some other of these things. Here's 127.0.0. This is loopback network, right? My loopback address on my interface 127.0.0.1. How about this one? I'm on the one network, 192.168.1.0 network. My net mask, and then it says on link. I'm guessing that means on my interface, on the interface I'm currently on, and then my IP address right here. We've got some metrics here distances. Usually metrics smaller the better. So, um, and then some of these other networks are probably virtual networks with some of my virtual interfaces. I've got some virtual machines and stuff like that. So anyway, the 1.0 network. We've got, look at this 1.255. This is a broadcast address on the one network and notice the net mask is a broadcast net mask. Okay, we'll just close this. Just wanted to show you that, that the computer that I'm on, that I'm using, also has its own routing table. Okay, what we're going to do now is we're going to complicate things. So I want to pull out another one of these generic routers. So I'm going to click on routers, hit generic, click here, and pull out one of those routers. Okay, and now what I want to do is I want to, um, I want to set up a serial connection in between these two routers. And so what I'll do is I'll click on Serial Connections, right? And typically one side needs to be a, um, a serial DCE and the other side needs to be a DTE. So that really is important. So with a serial connection in between, we're going to hook this up to serial interfaces and we're going to need a DCE on one side and a DTE on the other. So we'll start with the DCE and I'll click here and I'll click on the one closest to us. So this will be the DCE and I'm going to go to serial 2 here. Then I'm going to drag across and connect that one to also to serial 2. So I've gone from serial 2 to serial 2 and this side is the DCE and that side is the DTE. And if we hover over the middle here you'll see that one of them, they both say SE 2 slash 0 but the bottom one has a little clock on it. Okay, you see that? That's the DCE. Right? So this is em emulating a serial connection, and one needs to be the DC and one needs to be the DTE. We're going to have to get those turned on. Let's see if we can get that working. So click on this router, go to configure. Once again, we're not going to configure it with commands yet because we're still just learning the basics, and we're going to do that in future chapters. So I'll go to serial 2, right? We're going to use the cheat here. This is the cheat. <laughs> and we're going to say, okay, um, this guy is the clock, so we're going to set the clock to, let's see here, we'll set the clock to um, 56,000, okay? 56K, <laughs> right? Super fast. 56,000 clock rate. We're going to put the IP address as 10.0.0.1. Default subnet mask, and then turn it on. All right. Notice it's a different network completely. 
It's a 10 network. This is our third network coming off of this first router that we've created. All right. And close that. That's good. Now, notice there's still red here because this one needs to get turned on. So we'll go to this router. We'll go to configure serial to interface. And this one does not get a clock rate because it's not doesn't have a clocking interface. So this one we're going to say 10 dot zero dot zero dot two subnet mask classful notice two five five dot zero dot zero dot zero and then turn that on all right and that's good and then we can close that right notice the green lights go up okay so now this router has three networks coming off of it if we go to this router and go into our command line interface once again, I'm going to hit enter. Once I click in there, I'm going to do control C, right, to get to the privileged exec mode prompt, just the pound sign, control C to get out of interface configuration mode. This is configuration interface mode. And just want this, and I want to do a show IP route. And you can see now we have three connected networks. We've got the 192.168.5, the 192.168.1, and the 10 network on serial 2. Okay? So now we've got, you know, these networks. All right. 